Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This one is going to be a long time coming. It's going to be something quite special, I think. Uh, we are going to be looking at Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo, which came out like a week ago, I think. Um, I was quite surprised to like literally no fanfare. It was just, boop, there you go. Um, I have quite a special relationship with Final Fantasy VII because growing up, it was the big game. There was two big games when I was growing up. Two benchmark titles. If you had an N64, it was Ocarina of Time. If you had a PlayStation, it was Final Fantasy VII. Now, most of us had never really heard of Final Fantasy, uh, especially in my group, when Final Fantasy VII came out. But there was something rather magical about this game, and there is so much nostalgia baked into it. It's going to be interesting to see how it holds up. Uh, I do have some concerns. I've heard a lot of people saying that this is actually fantastic. I'm concerned that they've changed the battle system, which I don't really mind. I don't mind that because turn-based combat is... I can take it or leave it. I don't mind. Uh, apparently there is some kind of turn-based system in there, which I guess we will, ha we will have a fiddle with. Um, but most of it's real-time. And the other issue I have with the game is they've taken a singular game and they've turned it into three, apparently. I don't know if they've actually specifically said it's going to be three games, but they've said uh, it's going to be multiple parts. Now, Final Fantasy VII is a big game, but it's not massive. Um, I've seen people bust it out in... 40 to 50 hours, which is fairly average for a decent sized RPG. But cutting that up into three plus parts, that's going to be interesting. Especially when they say the first game is just going to be Midgar. Now, if you've played this game, and I'm going to assume you have, because most of us have, Midgar is only the first, depending on how fast you go through it, few hours so to massively expand on that is hmm interesting now final fantasy has such a seven has such a rich and interesting story it's the only final fantasy that i actually got into and i got into a big way but i am going to admit a cardinal sin now i never completed it yep Yep, I've never completed Final Fantasy VII. I own it on every platform that it's uh, been released on, that I have. Um, and I am actually currently watching um, a guy play it now, Jimmy Fails. I will link his channel in the description. He's actually a really good Let's Player. I watch a lot of his stuff. Very small channel, but he's got an interesting personality and uh, check him out. But he's doing a Final Fantasy VII playthrough now, and the music, the tone of the game, the characters, like, you know, Final Fantasy VII's music is legendary. Uh, it's one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. I don't think anybody can deny that. The special story and the tone of the story and the themes in the story are actually more relevant now than they probably were back then, when you look at what's going on in the world. It's interesting stuff. Now, this is the first video I'm recording on my new computer. Um, I've upgraded massively, so I'm quite excited. The only bottleneck we have is my internet speed, <laughs> but we're gonna have a look. Um, I also have a new monitor, so this is gonna be the first thing I've played on my new monitor properly. Um, I've got a curved 144 hertz gaming monitor that my missus treated me to yesterday. And I was very sold on curved monitors until I got one. Yes, I can see the hype. Anyway, let's get into this game. Yes, we can close Bioshock the Collection, which I believe I started playing like a few weeks ago. Oh, there's Cloud. And this game is so moody as well. But there was a lot of light 
humor in it you know it was a very serious adult theme um and there's some very strange stuff that happens in this game and there's so many mini games <gasps> yes i like it that theme can't you just feel that pulling on your heartstrings Oh my god, I'm going to feel like I'm going to feel like a, an 11-year-old boy again, aren't I? I like it. Okay. So, what camera controls would you like? Um we'll roll with default because sure. Select the difficulty of the game. The setting can be changed at any time in the options menu. Classic is recommended, but if you want to focus on using commands in battle. Uh Yeah, we'll go with classic, sure. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Holy shit, this isn't in game, it can't be. Holy f Oh my god. The music. The fucking music. Barrett! Get down here, Merc. There's our boy. Looking amazing. Wait, this actually is in game. Holy shit! Look at the detail! Everywhere! You know, it's funny, like... When you think back to your childhood memories, this is like how we remember it looking in our heads, in our fantasies, but look at it! Alright, come on Barrett. They've copied this so perfectly! Oh. It's go time. Ooh. So use it, uh, 
square to attack with Cloud Sword. Okay. Punisher attack. Resume. When the difficulty is set to classic, the player controlled characters will engage enemies in battle automatically, attacking, defending and evading as appropriate. With this mode active, you can simply wait until your ATB gauge has filled and press X to execute commands and dictate the flow of combat. Note that you'll always control the player controlled character. Battle difficulty is the same as easy. Okay. Alright. Nice so. Oh, I like that. The way they break apart into like Mako or Mako looks cool. Now, as much as I've said, oh my god. Yeah, I'm buying this. I'm definitely buying this. Um, as much as I've said, I've never completed Final Fantasy 7. I have watched it and I have played sections of it over and over and over again. Oh, look at Jesse and Wedge and Biggs. It's all right, the ATB gauge fills as time passes and attacking with square once a bar is full, your character can perform special actions. Mm. Okay. Cool. So that's the ATB down there. You can expand ATB charges from battle commands such as using abilities, magic or items. Okay. Press X and try using one of the commands. Cool. So what have we got? We've got fire. Oh, we've got braver and focus thrust. But we do also have a limit gauge as well. So ATB is not the same as your limit gauge. Oh, no, it's when you're in the menu. The game doesn't actually pause. <coughs> It just slows down. This is cool. This is so cool. Um, let's go for Braver. Yeah, okay. Okay. I like. Main menu and map. When not in battle, you can check the map, open menus, and view various kinds of information. Uh, okay. You never had a map before. I don't think. Alright, that's cool. So we don't have to, like, loot people. <clears throat> Drop the weapon. Look at how cinematic this is. This. Yeah. <laughs> Biggs. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse. Oh, man. It's going to be interesting to see how much fleshed out, how much more fleshed out they are in this version. You can defend against enemy attacks by pushing R1 to guard. Okay, successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered and also charges your ATB gauge. You're coming with us. Okay. Try harder. The combat is really nice. Nothing to it. Cloud looks absolutely phenomenal. Alright, let's go. Oh, I just want to run around. And I'm going to play this again and run around and explore everything. Chest, doors, or talk to people. Okay. Simple enough. Two potions. Very nice. I'm liking all the particle effects. Ooh. <clears throat> That's interesting that we have a thousand health as well. Way more than you start the game with originally. Ah, oh, Sector 5. Let's go. If you find boxes with a Shinra logo, press smash. They may contain useful items such as potions that restore. Mako shards. Ooh, what are they? Let's have a look. Maka shards. Okay, so you recover MP. So it's more arcadey than the original. And there's our boys waiting for us. So Maka shards are not materia, I guess. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls. <laughs> uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. 
Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. The voice work? Spot on. Very, very nice. Cloud actually looks superb. All the characters look superb. Oh. <laughs> They've actually um, nailed the atmosphere quite well. There's going to be a lot more interaction with the characters, for sure. You'll keep us safe, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Gee, I hope someone doesn't, you know, drop a plate on your head. All right, can't talk to these guys. Let's go see the big man himself. Totally not Zack, right? Someone to get that reference. Barrett looks so cool. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think. Not interested. What? <laughs> Which? Uh. The music is so good. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. I'm definitely in love with the characters all over again. Already. <gasps> oh my god. Listen to that fucking music. Listen to it. Locking onto targets. You can push R3 to lock onto specific targets. Okay. Ooh. So R3. Guess you're first. Let's go for fire. Guard dog. Nope. Oh, you can stagger enemies. Okay. Um Let's go. The spell effects are tasty. Very tasty. Alright, come on, Cloud. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Hey, yeah. Right yeah, thanks, uh, Wedge. I kind of saw you guys going up there. I was so unsure about this game, but I've been playing it for a few minutes, and I'm in. <laughs> I'm so fucking in. Actually, um, I've heard some mixed opinions on the remixed music, but I like it. I'm down. Right. Look at how shitty this place is. They've captured that really imposing atmosphere. Not so fast. We've got we do. Oh man. Look how they've captured the enemies. This will be quick. Yeah, it will be. Come on, boys. Nice. They've actually made the dogs, the guard dogs, look really cool. One second, guys. Right, sorry about that, guys. Right, okay. Let's continue. Come here, pooch. Oh, you're a tough little fucker. Okay, so you can stagger him. What's this Punisher mode all about? Okay, so... Uh, triangle is Punisher mode. That's interesting. Ah, oh, the music! Oh, it's so good! Oh. I'm so loving this game. Right, come on, boys. Security Officer A. Ooh, nice. 
Fucking hell, look at the... The combat's really visceral as well. You can really send them reeling and flying. Give me the bucks, the bucks, the bucks, the bucks. Two potions. I'll have them. Now, it's, um, it's interesting as well. I work outside, and I've always got my headphones in. Shh! Health and safety. But I've always got my headphones in, and I'm listening to music and podcasts and things like that all the time. And so much of that time, I've got the Final Fantasy VII um, soundtrack plugged in. I mean, the theme for my PlayStation... You know what to do! The theme for my PS4 has been... You, it's so recognisable. That Yeah, the theme that I've had on my PlayStation has always been the Final Fantasy VII theme since it came out. Can I talk to Wedge? They've captured the personalities really well. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got my doubts, Wedge. Keep them safe, please. Don't make a girl a promise if you know you can't keep it. There it is! Mako Reactor 1. <sighs> My heart is like... Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako story? Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stab scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little dog? Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. I can't get over how awesome Cloud looks. I mean, okay, in the original, he was just a bunch of blocks. They all were. They were like Duplo men, but they look so cool. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open mm. soon. Not sure I like your chest plate thing. It looks a little bit too anime but a little bit too <clears throat> defined, should we say. It just, I don't know. It, it looks a little bit silly. But apart from that, the rest of your outfit is fucking awesome. Biggs is pretty spot on as well. I like Biggs. Barrett just looks so cool. I'm watching you. In three, two, damn, I'm good. Don't pull nothing. Who's there? Door. Um. It's go time, Cloud. It's over. That's my line. Oh, it's so good. Switching modes. Every character has a unique ability. The battle music. They've captured it. Every character has a unique ability, which you can activate with triangle. With Cloud's mode, mode shift ability, you can switch between his balanced operator mode and his attack orientated punisher mode. So, okay. Different styles. We can take out Make it rain. Punisher mode. In Punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly. But um, Square unleashes a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against an enemy's melee. He cannot, however, guard against ranged attacks or magic. When you evade such attacks, you'll switch back to operator mode. Okay. That's fine. You've got this. The combat is so much fun. I Hey guys. Stop dribbling, Jesse. Jesus. She really does have the hots for Cloud, doesn't she? Damn, Jesse. It's been fun with you guys. I don't I hope you don't all get horribly murdered later. I know someone who can get us the passcodes. Mm -hmm. Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? 
and we're good. At command. Careful in there. I got this place covered. There's definitely um, way more of a team feeling with this. Look at this locker rooms. There's it's a much more tightly knit group. They don't quite feel like the um, the band of rejects and retrobrates that they did in the first game. They felt very. Um, it felt like a very flimsy, cheap operation in the first game. These guys actually feel like they at least know what they're doing somewhat. Not quite the bumbling fools they were. Wedge excluded from that, of course. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa and I. Oh, Barrett's so cool. Hear the sound effects as well. That creaking leather and just the uh, the boots on metal. <gasps> appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry while you sleep, while you eat, while you shit. It's here sucking up Marco. Marco. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care. You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Marco uh. is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! <laughs> you gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! <laughs> do you really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. <laughs> Say that again. I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Should have asked for more money. <laughs> 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 Allies join Barrett Wallace. Right, Barrett strengths. Barrett specialized in ranged combat attacks. Holding down, release sustained bursts. Uh, Barrett can fire from safe locations and hit enemies that Cloud cannot reach with a sword. Gonna throw your sword at him? That's the man with Ooh. the gun. Okay. So you can push triangle whilst in control of Barrett to deliver a heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of his ATB gauge. Once unleashed, the attack takes a long time to recharge. However, we can tap. Okay. These ten cans ain't got nothing on me. Hmm. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, can we like lock onto the right one, please? Okay, I got it. So he actually reloads his gun as well. That's quite cool. 
<laughs> I'm not convinced this gun arm's that good, Barrett. You sure it's worth it? <laughs> it's quite cool, I suppose. You can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. You can also stick with the same character and issue orders to party members. Okay. Oh shit. I'm guessing all the characters are going to be really different. <laughs> Must have missed it. <laughs> nah, you did alright there. You did good, Barrett. You did good. Alright, let's go, bro. Look what we have here. A laser security system. Oof. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Definitely looks... Just keep those baby blues of yours on Ooh, me. Ooh, damn. Oh, she wants it. You can move around outside of battle more quickly holding R1 or R2 to dash. Or you can use... Okay. Oh, I see. Come on. Ugh. Oh, okay, so you, the environments are very interactive. I mean, they're really pushing the PlayStation here to its limit. I'd be interested to see how this runs on the... Oh, God. On the standard PlayStation. So it's not just Shinra crates. Or are they Shinra crates? I thought the Shinra crates were the wooden ones. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah, more lasers. Of course. Now. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, it's all good. These, like, flare twice. Yeah, I see. Come on. Well, I wouldn't say I'm doing good. Doing adequate. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just lasers. I'm pretty sure not Zack here has um, got a Moogle medal. Has done way more intensive things in the past. Mm-hmm. Look how cool that looks. Look how cool that looks. Right. I had a feeling there would be stuff down here. Yeah, so I know this game's coming out on the PC as well. And I'm so conflicted. Because it's a PlayStation game, right? But uh, I don't know. Yeah, we can. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. Um. That should give us an opening. Right, sweeper. Go for it. Hitting enemies with a certain attack or dealing large amounts of damage will temporarily knock them off balance and pressured will appear under their gauge. When this happens, pelt them with spells and abilities to quickly fill their stagger gauge under the life bar. Once it's full, you can stagger them. This gauge fills faster depending on the abilities and magic used. Okay. Hey, it's not Let's put it down. It These sweeper things are definitely a little bit more Interesting. Enemies who have been staggered are defenseless and take more damage. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Steel skin, focus shot. Nice. Oh, nice. What are you? Want something? First. 
soldier in first class. Doesn't go into the toys. I mean your ass is not your goddamn rank. I know for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm-hmm. Guess that makes for one. <laughs> yes, because there's the rumor that soldiers are manufactured. Oh, this game's got a rich, deep plot, all right. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. Let's do it. They've definitely flashed. Ooh. God damn. I can practically taste the mako in here. Hurry it up. Yeah, we're on it. We're on it. It's like generators and stuff lying around. So, I mean, I know the story is. Is. is <laughs> So yeah, the the Final Fantasy VII world was once powered primarily by coal, and then the Shinra Corporation discovered how to harness. All right, Jesse, um, harnessed Mako energy to make electricity. Yeah, I'm exploring, Jess, and. Um, became the biggest energy supplier in the world and became so rich and powerful that they took over the world essentially oh we can actually see the enemies that's cool they're not all just scripted moments which makes sense get the fuck out of here oh go get him Barrett Oh, hello. Keep it together. Uh, I can't use anything. Kind of weird that Cloud can't actually hit certain enemies. That's interesting. Maybe. <laughs> How comforting. Let's go. Anything good? Marco shard. Bottle of ether. Hmm. So if we go into this items. Potions. Okay. So, potions definitely work in a similar manner. Mmm. This looks a little bit too easy. Oh my god, look at the Mako. <gasps> oh. Well, I don't know if that's Mako or if that's water. I thought Mako is more of an energy. Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Mm -hmm. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. <laughs> then do the damn job! <sighs> that is a hell of a bomb. Timer. 
Your call, Merc. Uh, I don't know how long the escape's going to be. I mean, it's definitely not going to be 20 minutes, is it? Or 30 minutes, but we'll go for 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay. Huh. That long enough for you? In the original, it's 10. You double crossing! Heads up. What in the hell? Here it is, the scorpion. Or whatever the fuck this thing was called. Scorpion hey, Sentinel. It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Yeah. No other option, huh? Oh man. Oh, dude. That thing is cool. Right, Barrett. It's on you. Right, Barrett. Oh, we are actually damaging it. That's interesting. I'm just listening to the music. It's so good, the battle music. The spells are actually really cool as well. I'm a fan. Ooh, that's new. Ooh, this old dog's got some new tricks. <laughs> so what's your brilliant plan, genius? Field generator. Ah. Oh, that's cool. If we don't change it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both. Less talking, more shooting. How about let's lift from you? So there are sensitive parts of this thing to actually hit. Oh, he's immune. It didn't work. got some kind of energy shield up so reduce damage there we go <laughs> all right let's do this thing Ooh, that hurt. now cloud let's go for some braver it's kind of a little bit Confusing. Focus. Find a way. It is a little bit confusing. All of the uh, combat and stuff. But I think that's something that will come with time. With just playing the game. Ooh. What? Oh yeah. So what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Oh shit. Oh shit. Nope. We can't run. Ow. 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 I was trying to run, but run is defend. Now, go. Right, Barrett. I want you. Uh Yes, I know. Oh, the limit gauge. So limit, cross slash, there we go. <laughs> so cool. Right, what's Barrett got? Barrett's limit's not really anywhere. Abilities, uh, let's go for some more thunder. We've got plenty of health. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely more of a threat in this game. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, braver. Nah. We'll be alright. We got it.
Because when this game first started, right in the beginning, the enemies were a joke in the original. Ooh. Well, that didn't happen. That was way more cinematic <laughs> than the original. Huh? You hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. <laughs> Come on, we've got to move. Oh, it's not over. Nothing is over. Where should we cover our way out? So we got half an hour to get out of here. It's definitely not going to take half an hour. Move your ass, Barrett. Yeah, so personally, I'm really happy with this so far. I can understand some people being disappointed, but... I don't think I am. <clears throat> I kind of want to destroy these things. Yeah, I was a huge skeptic of this, but not anymore. It's just frustrating thinking that we're going to have to wait maybe three or four years to get the whole story oh um um are we supposed to be going that way or can we actually nope we can't we've got to try and save jesse In the original, um, helping her was optional. Hey, we'll link up over there. Look after Jesse. Come this way. Yeah. This route should lead us straight to Barrett. Probably. Maybe. I think I see an exit. Come on. I'm hoping they're going to clean up the frame rate because there are definitely frame rate issues here. But this is an early demo. Don't look back. Let's go look I'm not looking back. Bloody moan, 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 moan. Okay. No, we're not. My head is literally in her ass. She probably likes that, to be fair. Ooh. Come on, big man. Barrett! I've got you covered. Find us a way out of here. But then... Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got soldier boy with me. Soldier boy. <laughs> They're here. Take them down. And not that soldier boy. Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. Five seconds is all we need, eh? Whoa. We good? Let's go. Yeah, no ship. Oh, great. Right, let's see what we've got. Oh, right. Cloud's ATB's ready. Come on, Barrett. Charge that bar, matey. Get it, get it, get it. Braver. It should be done. <laughs> so they are going to repeat dialogue, but that's understandable. This place is still fucked up from where we were here earlier. There's a lot more language in the game. 
As you'd imagine. But then this game was very forward with uh, with language. It was a very uh, serious adult game for the time with lots of little bits of dark humor sprinkled in to the mix. And there were a lot, I wouldn't say a lot, but there's a couple of things that this game did that... Oh, the shock troopers. Yeah, there was a lot of things this game did that... Oh, nice, he staggered. Wouldn't be looked too fondly on these days. Like the whole cloud cross-dressing thing. And... Uh, on Cornelio a little bit later on. I don't know how they're going to get through that with this, but I hope they're not cowardly and take... Ooh, there's three of them. Take any of that out. But I don't think they will. I don't think... I'm hoping they're not going to pander to the snowflakes. Right, he's done. Definitely need to work on the dodge. And I wonder if this is going to open up um, more in the Final Fantasy VII universe because Final Fantasy VII universe is so interesting. Yeah, can't get to it. Here, <laughs> Barrett, then. Right, I've got to be a little bit more quiet because the missus is getting a bit of a migraine coming on. So, let's finish this off. That was a very quick 30 minutes. Oh, look, you can see the materia in Cloud's sword. Doors open. That's quite cool. We don't have a lot of time here. Yeah, 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 we're out, we're out, we're out. Oh, fuck. Can you walk? You're a liability. If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. Ooh. Cloud! <laughs> nice. Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Music.
sick. Oh, it gets you right here. Ah, so. Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo. Very happy with that. Um, I enjoyed that. I cannot wait to see this. Um, I was quite skeptical. I think that's fair. I think a lot of us old time fans were. Now I'm not a hardcore fan or anything like that. Uh, I would never pretend to be, but this is still a very special, very important game and um, it's going to be different, of course. Um, but I think it's going to be bigger, more expansive, more immersive. I think we're really going to see a lot of Midgar and the world in general than we ever saw before. And we're going to see a lot more character development, I think. I love how they've captured the music. It's remixed, but they've kept enough of the original soul there. They've just modernized it. Would I say this is better than the original? No. I would say it's different. It's a different take. And um, I would never say this makes the original irrelevant because the original is still a masterpiece. But this is going to be a very nice, fun, new option for those who want it. And I've come away very, very happy and very impressed. So, anyway guys. I'm going to wrap this up because the missus had a, a migraine. Thank you very much for watching. And I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.